Today on Total Maine, the race for Maine's 2nd District seat heats up. We're speaking one-on-one -on -one with Congressman Jared Golden and the Republican challenger, Austin Terrio. And it's being called an environmental disaster. A state rep from Brunswick addresses concerns of forever chemical contamination after last month's spill. Plus, running for high office in his home country, what this local leader wants to bring from Maine to Somalia. Hello, good Sunday, and thank you so much for joining us here on Total Maine, the first day in the month of September. I'm Terry Stackhouse. It's considered one of the most competitive, high-stakes congressional races in the nation. Democratic Congressman Jared Golden is seeking a fourth term in D.C. His opponent, Republican Austin Terrio, has criticized him for not endorsing a candidate for president. Golden argues, though, the race should be about the issues and not partisan politics. Today, Kate McCusker is sitting down with both candidates. Do you think that your constituents, you know, the people who elected you to be their representative making political decisions on their behalf, do you think that they care to know your decision about who will run our country? I think that at the, uh, you know, in the, in the final analysis, who the president is, is their decision. And who their congressman is, is also their decision. Like, these things shouldn't be connected. If it was going to be that way, we might as well just adopt some kind of parliamentary system like we were the UK. Representative Jared Golden says he does intend to vote for someone for president. And although he has been clear about who he'll not vote for, his ultimate choice will remain private. I'm not voting for, for Donald Trump. Uh, I, that's been consistent through the years. His opponent, Republican Austin Terrio, has repeatedly criticized Golden for his position on the presidential candidates. Running for high levels uh, at the national level of government. And in order to do that, you have to be willing to be transparent with, your, with the voters. Part of that is sharing who you believe is going to represent America on the national stage, on the world stage. Golden has long advertised himself as an independent voice for Mainers, touting his work with Trump and sometimes against Biden. I will work with anyone that the people of America put into the office of the president, uh, presidency, and I'll also stand up to them based upon what I think is in the best interest of the people who I represent. That's what you're supposed to, that's the mindset you should have in Congress. But he remains committed to what he believes are key Democratic issues, and he pushed back against those who questioned if he was leaving the party. I'm a Democrat, and like, for some of these people, I kind of feel like, are you the referee of uh, who is or isn't, or, you know, what makes a Democrat? Like, the issues that I stand for, like collective bargaining rights, uh, you know, freedom to choose, uh, particularly, you know, in this instance, you know, because of the Dobbs decision for women, uh, you know, thinking about um, taking on like big, powerful groups like U.S. multinationals, corporations, you know, the super rich, etc. Like, I, I've always thought these were core democratic issues. I have a great record on them. If I'm wrong about that, then I'd say the party's leaving me, not me, uh, the party. Uh, but I don't think that that's the case. Terrio has been open about his support for Donald Trump, and he has also received an endorsement from the former president. I've been very clear on who I'm supporting, and I think it's time for him to come, you know, to be straight with the main people and say who he's supporting. Terrio believes his transparency is an important aspect of his candidacy. At the end of the day, there's people that are going to vote for me that maybe don't agree with who, who we don't align on who we want our next president to be but you can still take a position and represent everybody. And he hopes his focus on the economy will also win over other voters in the 2nd District. The pocketbook issues of people struggling right now is of the most concern. And I don't care what party you call yourself, even if you call yourself an unenrolled independent, because you're so frustrated with, with either party that you feel like you're, you're being re left behind and you're not being represented well. I really want to be a representative for those people too. In addition to the presidential election, the pair also disagree on the response to the Lewiston tragedy. It changed my mindset as a gun owner uh, to see 18 people killed and 13 wounded. While he has not yet read the recently released Lewiston Commission's report, Jared Golden reaffirmed his support for an assault weapons ban. Is it going to be a never-ending escalation of firepower? Or do we want to take a step back and ask if we need to find a way to make sure that these deadliest of rifles aren't available for the people that are going to do this type of stuff. Golden had hoped the Maine State Legislature would take action, and he says he is disappointed in the other gun measures passed instead. 
which is why I played a role in the last several months calling on the main legislature to do this, where I actually thought they had the votes to do it. And I thought it was the right response to the uh, shooting in Lewiston. Terrio is against the ban and instead blames failures in mental health support. This is not an issue with people having access uh, to firearms. This is an issue with mental health and making sure people, when they're crying out for help, can, can actually get it. Terrio says the report also shows failures in communication, something that should be addressed instead of gun rights. Let's go after, after the, the, um, the failures with the institutions that didn't follow through with Mr. Carr, making sure that he didn't have weapons and that he was actually getting the help that he needed. Both candidates have expressed strong support for the southern border, but Terrio has said Golden is flip-flopping on this issue. You can't say you're against the fentanyl and the drugs coming, uh, coming into our towns and unfortunately killing some of the people there if you didn't vote for additional border security in the form of uh, you know, finishing the fence and additional border, you know, uh, border patrol agents. You can't talk about those issues um, if you're voting differently when you're in Washington, D.C. So I think if you look at the voting records, he's clearly flip-flopped on important issues affecting the district. Golden, however, referred to what he has done for the border during his time in Congress, and he believes his record speaks for itself. He can keep talking all he wants. Uh, look at it this way. The last Republican that represented this district in four years, compare his four years to my first four years, I voted for more border wall funding, more border patrol agents, more CBP you know, officers and, and technology. You can just add it all up. And at the end of the day, I have a very impressive record, a very strong record on the border. Austin's going Austin's to keep saying you know, what he says because he thinks it's, he wishes it was a vulnerability. But when you look at the facts of my record, he has no case to be made. Our thanks to Kate McCusker for that report. Still much more to come today on Total Main. Campaign season is heating up and a local immigrant leader is running for high office. Just not here in Maine. Up next, we're going to hear from him about what it takes to run for office in Somalia. But first, demanding answers. We're going to talk with a Brunswick lawmaker who has concerns for his community after toxic firefighting foam spilled from an airport hangar. That's when Total Maine returns. Stay with us.